So last week I spoke about what happens when somebody is arrested. This week I'm speaking about what happens when somebody is charged and taken to court. When you are charged by the police for a criminal offence, it means that you have to go to court. Every criminal case in the UK starts off from the magistrate's court. And then based on what type of offence it is, then accordingly a court is allocated for that hearing or for that offence for that defendant. There are three categories or three types of different offences. The first offence is a summary only offence. Summary only offences can only be dealt with at the magistrate's court. So a summary only offence will start off in the magistrate's court and end in the magistrate's court. The second type of offence or offences are either way offences. Either way offences are offences that can be tried in the magistrate's court or they can be tried in the Crown Court. Now, sometimes a case will start off in the magistrate's court and the trial will take place in the magistrate's court. However, the court, the magistrates, have powers to commit that case, send that case to the Crown Court for sentencing. So that case has been in two courts, the Magistrates Court for the trial and the Crown Court for sentencing. It can all also be the case that it is an either way offence, but it's kept in the Magistrates Court, it's kept in the jurisdiction of the Magistrates Court and the trial took place in the Magistrates Court and the sentencing also takes place in the Magistrates Court. Now, the third type of offence or category of offences are indictable only offences. Indictable only offences can only be tried in the Crown Court. So the only appearance that you will have in a magistrate's court for indictable only offences is the very first appearance before court. So straight after you are charged the first hearing will be in the magistrate's court as i discussed earlier every case starts off in the magistrate's court so the first hearing for indictable offense also will be at a magistrate's court and then it will be sent or committed to the crown court for trial purposes now there are advantages and disadvantages in terms of some cases that are heard in the magistrate court and the crown court. Let's not talk about the summary only offences because they can only be tried in the magistrate's court. I'm going to talk about the either way offences. Some either way offences where the prosecution or the courts, uh, the prosecution say that it is suitable for the case to be tried in the magistrate's court and the magistrates say that yes, it is suitable for the case to be tried in the magistrate court. However, the defendant is given the option if he would like his case to be heard in the magistrate's court or for his case to be heard in the Crown Court. The advantages of the magistrate's court are that the sentencing is capped. So you can only get a six month sentence or two six month sentences in the magistrate's court. However, you are in the magistrate's court and a sentence itself can be adjourned to the Crown Court to be sentenced. So it's not that guaranteed you will get sentenced in the magistrate's court and guaranteed you will get a lower sentence. It's not. But sometimes I have to advise my client based on their instructions as to what venue would be better to have that trial. If the court's declined jurisdiction 
then that's another story. But if we can elect, which we can in every case, every either way case, we've got the option or you've got the option to elect where you want your case to be heard, then I will sit down with my client and advise them accordingly with their instructions as to what would be better. Magistrates court, you've got the sentence cap. But again, the advantage of going to the Crown Court to have a trial would be you are having a trial in front of 12 members of the jury. So you've got 12 members of the public judging you rather than some magistrates or a district judge judging you. Another advantage of the crime court would be that in the crime court, all serious offences are heard. So you can say they have a bigger fish to fry. So if you go into the crime court with a slightly lesser offence, then the judges might take a lenient approach against you and give you a more lenient sentence than you will actually receive in the magistrate's court. So there's advantages and disadvantages to both. Once that is sorted, the venue, then the case proceeds to either sentencing or trial. In terms of indictable only offences, uh, they can only be heard in the crime court like I've mentioned earlier. So you've heard the different types of offences that you can be charged with and you've heard uh, what happens after you get charged and you've heard the different courts that your trial or your cases can be heard in. I hope that you have benefited from this video and if you have benefited please like, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share. Thank you.